So, how do you go from this to this? Well, if you want to find out, keep watching. If you, like me, are a fan of the show Dexter, I think you're gonna be kind of feeling at home when you see this. of the build so far I have carved out the side panels here um, which are going to be the sort of the leg parts of the this one the sides here are these babies now I did do fairly okay in terms of the measurement but I did I was a little off here and there so I'm going to have to trim these to each other and I'm going to do this first uh, because then I will have the measurements for the um, plates that are going to be resting on this. So that I have the exact measurements so that I can line everything up nice and neatly. But so far so good. I have now literally taped together the table. It's being held by the workbenches here on either side. And I just wanted to get a sort of a first look. Um, I think I have found a solution to the plate down here. It's right now it's standing here. Um, I am going to mount it in the same angle, which is 30 degrees, uh, as the uh, racks. So it's going to, I don't know if you can make out the pencil line here. It's going to follow that pencil line uh, all the way down to the gap. So it's about five centimeters off the floor and going all the way up to about uh, there. So there's gonna be open space above that, but that's okay because the keyboard is going in there, so you're not gonna be able to see that hole, but you're still gonna be able to get the cables through. And also below, it doesn't go all the way down to the floor so that you can have your pedals and whatnot coming through there. It does look quite okay most of the places, but as you can see back here, I do have a challenge with almost three millimeters too much on either side. This square hole is for the monitor stand. It goes through that and it gets mounted below so that the screen can get closer uh, to the edge down here. 
another grueling bout of sanding later. Uh, I still need to do, as you can see here, there are some stuff that isn't exactly aligned, but it will be. Uh, it just, you know, takes a while in the grinding department, but the uh, rack rails have gone in and I've done a little bit of detailing here. I don't know if you can make it out, but it's actually rounded off on the sides. Um, here in the corners, I have sanded it off to be rounded off to kind of meet the rails that are sunken down a couple of millimeters. Oh, and remember the supporting plate I was talking about? It's now there. As you can see here, it's mounted. And of course, the uh, rail is going to go in to support my A88 motherboard, which is going to be below this plate and retractable on a couple of uh, drawer rails. One last look at the old desk before it gets, I don't know if I can use any of the wood for anything else, I don't really think so. And to be quite honest, I am pretty fed up with this thing. <laughs> it's worked in the past, it's been fine, um, and it's been a good stepping stone uh, for this next step. But uh, it has outgrown its relevance and it needs to go. <laughs>